Good morning everyone. Today in this video class I am going to take up the poem Wind written by Subramanya Bharti. Now poem Wind is specifically in the syllabus of class 9th NCRT syllabus CBSC board. This poem Wind is written by Subramanya Bharti who is a great Tamil poet and is an equivalent social reformer and social activist. More than that, he is also a freedom fighter in the pre-independence era of India. This poem was originally written in Tamil since Subramanya wrote in Tamil, but it is translated to English not by himself but by another poet of Kannada and English who is A.K. Ramanujan. A.K. Ramanujan is another well-known poet who wrote in Kannada and in English language. Now, the idea of wind poem, the central idea of wind poem is to keep your mind and your heart steadfast. Means to have a strong brain and a strong heart. To overcome all the difficulties that come across your path. To rise over the obstacles and succeed in life. Theme of the poem is that there will be difficulties like a strong wind or a storm. Now, wind here is a metaphor for the obstacles and the problems and the difficulties that come in your life or in each one of our lives. The theme of the poem is to face those difficulties with courage, determination, dedication and grit. Now, when we face those difficulties and challenges so steadfastly, then the idea of the poet is we no longer are afraid of those. but in return, we get polished by such difficulties. We arise like the flames of fire with more vigor and more enthusiasm out of such difficulties. Moving on to the poem in the book of NCRT, the introduction part of the poem says that the wind blows strongly and causes a lot of destruction. Right? We all agree with that. When there is a strong wind causing storms, it causes a lot of destruction. Then the next line says, how can we be friends with the wind? Because that I have told you is the main idea of the poem. That if you become friends with the wind or with the obstacles, if you receive them as friends and you accept the challenges with courage, then it's not going to be destructive to you specifically. Now, Moving on to the poem, I'll read line by line and I'll be explaining a group of lines together. I would like you to also go through the content side by side which is on page number 30 of book Beehive. Wind come softly. Don't break the shutters of the windows. Don't scatter the papers. Don't throw down the books on the shelf. There, look what you did, you threw them all down. You tore the pages of the books. You brought rain again. You're clever at poking fun at weaklings. Frail crumbling houses, crumbling doors, crumbling rafters, crumbling wood, crumbling bodies, crumbling lives and crumbling hearts. Okay, so the first part of the poem ends here. I'll explain the first one and then move on to the next and the last part of the poem. Now here, the poet is requesting wind, is talking to the wind. The poet says, wind come softly, come like a gentle breeze, don't come like a stormy wind. He's requesting the wind to come softly. The poet says, don't break the shutters of the windows, that as a strong wind comes and the window flaps, the poet requests, don't break those shutters, don't be so harsh, don't scatter the papers. For example, there are papers kept somewhere, some important documents kept, when a strong wind comes, it hits and everything is scattered here and there. So the poet requests, don't scatter the papers and don't throw down the books on the shelf. And then there are books kept neatly designed on the shelf like these. When a strong wind comes, the poet says, don't scatter them. Don't throw them down. The wind has already come. He didn't know request of the poet. 
and who it therefore says shows to the wind by saying that there look what you did he is saying to the wind that see what you did with your harshness you threw them all down you have thrown all those books down all those papers you have scattered you tore the pages of the books and because of you the pages of my books are torn you brought rain again and because you were so harsh and so strong you have brought rain again and then he blames or he says to the wind you are very clever at poking fun at the weaklings that those who are weak you are clever in making fun of them you really poke them you nudge them you pinpoint them and make fun of those who are weak and who are weak are given in a number of ways in the next line frail crumbling houses very weak crumbling houses those houses which are not built with good concrete cement and bricks very frail houses frail crumbling houses crumbling doors shaking doors very weak crumbling rafters now rafters are those wooden tile sort of things uh, which uh, sorry not tiles wooden uh, support beam type of things that support the slope of the roof so those crumbling rafters you heard you disturbed crumbling wood crumbling bodies and crumbling lives and crumbling hearts of people you disturb now till here the poet was talking to the wind first requesting and then showing the wind what the wind has done in the next part of the poem that i'm going to read now the poet is telling the people to be strong to face this wind see line goes like that the wind god winnows and crushes them all he won't do what you tell him so the poet says that the wind god is winnowing winnowing is actually a practice where we separate husk from the wheat grains uh, you must have seen somewhere in villages or in some movies where the people they hold in a uh, so a blank kind of thing they hold the grains and they shake it like that so that the husk goes down so that is known as winnowing so that act is compared here with wind winnowing the things and people the wind god winnows and crushes them all whatever is mentioned about the crumbling things he won't do what you tell him so the wind god will not do what you tell him if you tell him to be soft be gentle not be harsh he's not going to pay any heed to that so come let's build strong homes so if wind god is not going to listen to us then we are supposed to be ready for it for whatever comes our way so let us build strong homes let us join the doors firmly let the doors be shut very carefully practice to form the body keep your body firm ready for all the challenges to come make the heart steadfast and make your heart strong to face all the obstacles and challenges that come your way do this and the wind will be friends with us and if you are ready for it if you are fine with any amount of obstacles coming your way they are going to be friendly with you they are not going to be as harsh as they would have been if you were weak so you have to be strong and welcome the wind blows out weak fires in the last four lines of the poem the poet expresses his idea of being strong which is going to show away all the obstacles the poet says the wind blows out weak fires when i told you is a metaphor for obstacles and difficulties so difficulties and obstacles are going to blow out the weak fires which are weak are going to be extinguished by the difficulties he makes strong fires roar and flourish but those who are strong and who are ready to accept the challenges are in fact going to roar with the difficulties challenges are going to be stepping stones for them to outshine their talent and their strength so fire which are strong fires which are strong are going to roar and flourish with the winds or with the obstacles his friendship is good 
So when you be friends and when you be welcoming to the obstacles, when you become prepared and are ready to face the challenges, then it is good. So the friendship of obstacles or of wind is good. We praise him every day and then we praise the wind god every day. That's the poem. There the poem ends. I've already told you about Subramanya Bharti and about A.K. Ramanujan who has translated. A.K. Ramanujan is famous for his translation of classical and modern poetry. And Subramanya Bharti, who is the poet of this poem, I've told you is famous for his patriotism and pre-independence era. With that, we finish this poem and we will be moving ahead with the question answers as per our process. Thank you.